Once back at the college, work begins by photographing each window in detail to document any existing damage and condition of the window. The rails are then slowly worked off the metal frame. Once the rails are removed, the glass assembly is lifted out in one piece. The frame is scraped and cleaned, removing any old glazing that has dried and is now dry and brittle. Soft grinding may also be needed to remove any rust or corrosion. Attention then turns to the camed assembly, where the lead caming is heated and carefully removed. The individual pieces are removed after caming is cut and trimmed from the glass surface. Scraping excess material and soaking the numbered glass sections in denatured alcohol help clean the panes. Going back to the frame, the clean metal is now ready for priming and painting to resist the effects of weather and age. While drying, the template for the glass pattern is traced on paper, a wooden frame is cut to the size of the window, and piece by piece, each numbered pane is replaced in order, slid into new caming tracks. It's not really all that difficult. Lead solder bonds each joint. The glass is then sealed with a mixture of cement and linseed oil and dried with whiting, then wiped clean. Patina is applied to the came in an attempt to artificially age the window, matching the appearance of other windows at the home. Finally, the glass assembly is replaced into the frame, the rails and drip edge put back in place, and the finished windows are ready for the return to Stan Hewitt. Almost two months to the day after removing the windows, Belmont Tech returns to Stan Hewitt for the end of their involvement in phase two. The wooden plugs are removed. And the windows are placed back in their original positions. It is decided to set the windows in place and not rehinge them. You're gonna have to back it out. Looks like it ain't moving. The damaged hinges will be removed and become a part of the archive at Stan Hewitt so future preservationists will have an original model to recreate. After placement, the windows are cleaned and the ceiling tiles are replaced. Stan Hewitt Hall and Gardens now stands as a monument to historic preservation as well as the spirit of a community that is dedicated to preserve a piece of its own past. Other projects on the property will greatly change the way the public is introduced to the life and lifestyle of the Cyberlings. But preservation projects aren't reserved exclusively for the main house. Before working on the gymnasium windows, Belmont Tech first restored a few smaller windows and another Stan Hewitt structure. The Gate Lodge, a small cottage nestled in the corner of the estate, was opened to the public in 2004 after serving as a private residence until 1999. A feature of the restoration of this important structure is the installation of a high-quality museum exhibit to honor the role that Henrietta Buckler Cyberling, the wife of Cyberling's eldest son, Fred, played in the formation of Alcoholics Anonymous. Henrietta's impact is profound. In 1935, she brought together Dr. Bob Smith and Bill Wilson, who went on to form AA. Ultimately, the Gate Lodge became home to Irene Cyberling Harrison, the eldest daughter of Stan Hewitt founders Franklin and Gertrude Cyberling. Irene passed away in 1999, just shy of her 109th birthday. But one can only imagine what Irene thought as she looked out the windows of her home in the Gate Lodge and gazed at the large home her parents built for her and her family. A home that became a legacy to the people of Akron and, because of continued preservation efforts, will continue to be a place of entertainment, education, and inspiration for years to come.